I'm not exactly sure what I thought this was gonna be, but it is way cooler. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 16 mods for you for all platforms. We've got six new and five updates for PlayStation and Xbox. We've got one new map. It's an update on PC, but nothing's changed. Plus on PC and Mac, we have two new and two updates. Let's check them all out. First new mod today for all platforms, we have the John Deere 2510H and the John Deere 2510H tank, which we will show you momentarily. This is not what I thought it was gonna be at all. I thought this was gonna be some type of small planter or something like that. Maybe I just didn't read up on it enough, but this is a fertilizer spreader. That's right, it's a direct injecting fertilizer spreader. So cool, man. So this bad boy right here, if you see down at the bottom, it says fertilizer spreaders improve the yield or the harvest of your fields. In addition, tank increase your capacity of your tools. So you've got this bad boy right here. It is a 5,500 liter capacity, 160 horsepower required, which is why we're playing with the six ilm at the beginning because it has plenty of power. 11.5 meters at 13 miles per hour. This is really neat, and this is gonna last you a good little while. So if we take a look at this, we do solid fertilizer and lime, and it's really cool. We got a trailer hitch in the back as well. Now, what does that do? Well, if we jump out of there, we go into tools and crop protection. So where you would normally find sprayers, exactly where all the sprayers are, we actually have the tank for this. I'm not sure why this is in sprayers, but it's here, so whatever. <laughs> We've got a 7,570 liter capacity thing for solid fertilizer and lime in here as well. Add this to the back, and this is going to increase your capacity. It's gonna be an absolute massive capacity as well. Here you can see the two put together. Beautiful takes by LR Modding and JA Modding. Very, very cool, awesome job here. This this is so neat. Do we have anything like this in game? I don't think so. This is gonna be a great addition to those big American or maybe Brazilian maps that you guys are playing on that need just a little bit of extra care. Well, instead of doing a fertilizer spreader like you normally would, throw this on there. Do lime, fertilizer, whatever you want. This is awesome. Next new mod for all platforms is the big bag and support package. This includes seed fertilizer and even a front loader to run everything. So this is the support. So this is what goes on the front of your front loader, whether you rock it, anything like that. Only front loader, by the way. So um, just keep that in mind. Main color. We've got all kinds of colors through here. You can do an orange if you really, really want to. This is branded John Deere, so do keep that in mind, but it doesn't actually say John Deere anywhere on it. So if you're not a John Deere fan, but you still want to use something like this, well, you easily can. If you're part of the Rep fam, well, there you go right there. In addition to that, we get the bags that go with it. So you've got a bag of seed that's going to hold 1,500 liters of seed, and it's going to cost you $3,000, and we have the... <laughs> man the fertilizer bag right here 1500 liters of fertilizer 2100 dollars for this bad boy right here this works just like the big bags that we already have in game so if you've got something like these the big bags uh right here or maybe the uh genetics that came out early on in farming simulators life cycle you could buy those it works just fine we're back to this, aren't we? Well, <laughs> it's awesome. Next up, we have the three-point gooseneck receiver hitch by Meyer Family Modding and Drew Hodgkins. This right here is a receiver hitch. It hooks up to three-point on one side, and then on the other side, you've got hooks for doing trailers, or you could do goosenecks, do all kinds of stuff on here. You can even strap this down. It's a really, really cool mod. We showed off the first version of this a long time ago. It's been a couple months already, and uh, they, they decided to make a second version. The first version was not accepted. Here we have this, looks great. I love the MFM on the back. You can see where you go in different lighting. It changes up, it might even be 3D. Yep, that's 3D on the back. That's really neat. Uh, as far as colors, so we get a design color. What does the design color change? Well, if we change this to nitro blue, it's gonna be your MFM logo. How about this? Let's change that up to stainless steel, main color. We got a couple things through here, actually quite a few things in here. We have silver. We have iconic blue turquoise. Man, that looks really good. Midnight blue, uh, which is a pretty standard color through this. This one looks one of, one of my favorite, by the way. Burnt orange. I mean, as you can see, there's so many different ones that you can go to. Even got royal blue, blue metallic, blue chrome. Yeah, that looks awesome, man. All of this is looking good. You can also tell that you have different... Uh, 
uh, different materials. So was, right here, you can see with this one, yes, it's chromed or metallic, but the metal actually shines through. You can kind of see the metal on there. But if we change that to blue metallic, well, all that goes away. Really, really good job with this. But if you want to use any colors from base game, you can do that too with no issues. Next up is going to be the NI Storage Shed. This is a placeable Northern Irish sh storage shed. Price is $30,000 daily upkeep of two bucks per day. And as you can see, you got big doors and you have nice open air on the inside. Very cool. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Ripper R5 by Pepe978 and the FSI group. This bad boy right here is a five anchor subsoiler. Anchor height is going to be 1.1 meters, two iron wheels, and a crank adjustment for this as well. Working width of 2.5 meters, 250 horsepower required. So it is a little, it is a very power hungry piece of equipment, but you do have to remember as a subsoiler, you are plowing and you are cultivating all at one. So that does all add up. And then you have a five mile per hour working speed. Very, very nice mod. Oh man, look at the detail. This is great. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard 991. This is by 4D Modding and it is a round bell wrapper. It's bad boy right here. The round bell wrapping range features practical design quality components and precision engineering making. This is a beautiful piece of equipment. So let's check out what we've got here. We've got more than it appears and I'll show you. So we start with foil color, basic stuff through here. Anything that you really want to use, you can use main color. You've got a green gloss, you have a green mat, you also have yellow gloss and yellow mat. This is mainly aimed towards John Deere colors. However, if you want to go with a yellow, you could do that and be good to go as well. And then rim color. We've got a few options through here. So if you like John Deere, super easy to do. If you want just yellow one or one that's just kind of generic looking, well, you could do that too. Lots and lots of rim colors through here. Speaking of rims, we got wheel stuff for you. We have Michelin, we have Trelleborg. In Michelin, we've got a couple of different balloon types. And then in Trelleborg, we've got a couple wheels through here as well. Design, we have no spare wrap. We've got some added spare wrap and then no spare wrap again. Design, you have EU spec or US spec. So if you're in the US, you want to change this up, you could do that, EU, same thing. Not only that, it comes as a used version. So. This used version right here, it's pretty much identical. The specs are identical, though it looks a little bit worn and a little bit used, a little bit older, in fact. So things are just a tad bit different with the used version. Otherwise, nothing is going to be different. Uh, main color, you do have only one option, or uh, two options rather, rim colors, same thing through there. Wheel options, very similar design and then so on and so forth. So if you want to save a little bit of money, you could go with that as well. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First off, we have the multi-liquid tank. This is going to be version 1.1. They have fixed the download speed. Next is an update to the MGW 1800. This is going to be version 1.1. They've added base color configurations and design color configurations. So let's take a look at those. Design color, let's change this up. So that is going to be the parts that go into the ground, the tines, and then I'm guessing this, yeah, main color, that's gonna be like that. So this is going to be the old color palette. So if you got some older tractors, maybe some older equipment, you can actually have these match as the color palettes are exactly the same. Next is the multi-harvest headers. These are gonna be version 1.2. More color design options and various bugs have been fixed. And an update to the Timbered Farm Pack. This is going to be version 1.002. They fix the season mask and roof overhangs extends onto the gable ends. And they've adapted to the Bavarian style. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Irma Maestro 300 by SMI Mod Team and Vertex Design. This is version 1.0.1. They've fixed the AI width. I said we had a new map for console players to update for PC. It is La Petite Oest. Welcome to the west of France in the Department of Lure. You will find two farms, cows and pigs, around 55 fields of various functions. And they've added some things to this as well. So they've added BGA, sheep pens, grain silos to the cow farm. Second water point hedge collisions have been removed on the map. And they've added details to the points of sale. That was an update that PC players got. So that is added to the description. However, change log 1.0.11.011 console release. So console players now can enjoy this beautiful, beautiful map by Tom Agri 
La Petite OS. Let's take a look at the main PDA. So as you can see, the main green square on the outside, that is gonna be the standard size of a map, the 2X, so two kilometers by two kilometers. Um, a normal map, so say Ravenport, Felsbrunn, uh, even Erlingrad, they're all 2X maps. This is no different. On here, as we can see, if we zoom in just a little bit, you can see you have your main farm right here. Everything that's in green we own. If we click that, what we start, everything that's in green now anyway, is our main farm. We've also got water. We have filled 46, 23, 17, and 19. Nothing else around is there. We do have some things that we own. For example, we have a cow pasture there. We have a cattle pasture here as well. And we also have sheep. So that is, or cow, sorry, is that three cattle? Seriously, no, we got three cattle on here. All right, hey, I'm down. So you actually own three different cow farms. You can sell these if you wish. All you have to do is click this and click sell. Same thing up here, field 19. If you don't want to do that, well, you've got that as well and you're good to go. I love this map. Even when it first was released on PC, I said, this is a really cool little map. And it's not crazy big, it's not massive, but it's beautiful, it's done well, and it's a nice kind of entry. I would say this is good for American players that maybe want to play on a map that's not American, but you're still going to have a good time. This right here, this is the one. Very exciting, very, very exciting. It doesn't say anywhere that it is seasons ready, so um, I'm not 100% sure if this is seasons ready or not, just because it doesn't say it. However, it's a nice map nonetheless. As far as equipment that we get when we start off, you get the Massey 56, we get the New Holland T6, which is more than enough, at least when you're starting off. You have the New Holland TX32, little bit difficult to get in and out of places but there are no hedge collisions so there is that you've also got a an, an agro uh, agro, agro, agro <laughs> you got a tipper man header you get a plow cultivator a uh <laughs> really all right hey we get a uh, disc arrow as well we've also got a cedar does not direct drill so you will need those pieces of equipment you've also got a planter you got a sprayer fertilizer spreader you have a food mixer water trans you have front loader You've got a couple different things for the front loader, many different things for the front loader. In fact, even a bell shredder. It's bell shredder? Yeah, takes bells and shreds them on the ground. Very cool. And we also have a header trailer, a couple weights. We get cow pasture, chicken coop, cow pasture, large cow pasture, and even farmhouse. You could even sell the farmhouse. Very neat around. Very neat around. If you're looking for your house, your house is going to be up here. It's where your farm silo is as well. I would recommend go ahead and buy, buy this. actually, do we need to buy that area? Let's click it and take a look. Okay, so we don't need to buy this area. It's just the house is what it is and it exists. Nice. Do we have any animals to start with? No animals to start with, though if we pop down, it kind of looks like we've already got food in here for the chickens. I'm just curious, let's, let's buy a chicken. Okay, so we have one chicken and no food okay so that just kind of looks the way it looks this is a neat map I, I will say it over and over and over and over again small equipment jump on have a little bit of fun you know what i could even see lunatic calm getting on here and enjoying himself and that's saying something as was mentioned we have some new mods for pc and mac players today we got two of them first up is the work rpm this mod increases vehicle motor RPM when using hydraulic tools, moving tools, tipping, unfolding, lifting, and rotating implements, and moving pipes. Motor RPM is displayed on the screen. You can resize it, move it, open it, taking it away. Because it's on PC, you could literally do whatever you want with this. It's really neat and really cool. Default controls are going to be the left shift key W. It's gonna open your settings menu. Uh, left shift key KP and plus. It's gonna set the size of the RPM HUD, left alt key, uh, or left alt KP4 and six moves it up and down, and eight and five moves it up and down, left and right. They're all there. <laughs> it's cool. It's your second new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Gens BA725D Wood Crusher. Yeah. This bad boy right here, it, a lot of people are asking questions about this. So here's the thing. So we've got new shop configurations. We have wheels right here. They've got new and improved textures, new motor with setup sounds, her new motor setup, improved main drum behavior, improved the motor load management, added fuel consumption, 
So you've got fuel on here now. It has 600 liters of fuel and it'll take it down pretty quick. They've also uh, fixed the trunks pulling on the machine. They fixed the drum movements in the multiplayer and many more small improvements and fixes have been made to this mod to make it even better than the one that we have in game. And lastly, let's go into mod updates for PC and Mac players. Starting off, we have the Lizard Biofuels production by Caster. This was released last week. This is going to be version 1.001. They fixed the output silage under Seasons. And your second and last mod update, and last mod today, the Nefes 8560. This is going to be version 1.0.1. They've added a body for transporting belts and pallets, as well as minor fixes and improvements. You can change that up in configuration grain body, silage body, bell loading, or grain body. Awesome job here. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoy playing the new map this weekend, and I hope you have a great weekend overall. It's going to be very, very normal for us. Hopefully, farm some news tomorrow and Sunday, as well as Let's Plays all weekend long. We've got another episode from Erlingrad tomorrow on Saturday, and on Sunday, a new episode from Bucks County. All of those have been done before any updates or anything like that. Those were recorded a few days ago. Just keep that in mind. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn the notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All of it's that, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.